excuse me while I get myself situated here. I'm getting a little big, guys. The belly's getting a little big. Um, excuse me. I am so out of breath from just adjusting myself. Oh my goodness. So this week has been crazy. Um, as you guys know, if you saw, we live streamed my gender reveal on um, Sunday. I'm hoping to get this video out probably tomorrow. That's my goal. I ha I didn't feel good on my gender reveal. I got really, really sick. I got really nasty cold the Saturday before my gender reveal. So my entire gender reveal, I was so stuffy and I felt like crap. Um, so I've kind of been like slowly recovering this week. Today, um, the day you're seeing this is probably Thursday. So at this point, I'm just still a little bit uh, congested. But um, I'm really excited because A, hopefully I don't have to record this video twice. For some reason, like my video camera doesn't want to do like playback audio right now. I usually check my camera's microphone because I've recorded so many videos in the past where I'll record the whole thing and then I go to edit it and then like my camera was, my microphone was unplugged or something went wrong with the audio. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed <laughs> that um, this video will be successful the first time. Uh, so I'll have some updates for you guys this upcoming Pregnancy Diaries. Um, I'm hoping to be able to post something on Sunday, but I have such a, I have such a busy weekend that um, we're going camping and everything. So if I don't find an opportunity, um, I might just post one a little bit late. Maybe I'll post one like Monday or Tuesday, or I'll just end up holding off until the next Sunday. But that's kind of like my thought process. I do have some Halloween stuff on the way. I've been kind of struggling for video ideas, you guys. I have a couple that have to do with like pregnancy, but I have just been working so much that I've been so stinking tired. <laughs> I've just been like so tired to like sit down and actually film. Um, but I've still been managing somehow to post video every like couple of days. Um, of course my vlogs certainly help maintaining that, uh, rhythm, but anyways, today we have another Japan crate and these always come at the end of the month. What's today's date? Today is the 25th of September. You're probably seeing this on 26th and it just showed up at my doorstep today. Like after I picked Ella up from school. So <laughs> these come really late in the month and that's why I post them kind of late. But um, the first one was a lot of fun. Uh, remembering the first one, however, I remember there some being something really nasty in here. Um, but I'm really hoping that this time, you know, we, we find some more goodies. So I do have a quick pair of scissors. I feel like I've rambled enough. We can just get right into this video. Ugh. I hate that sound. I hate the sound of things like on cardboard. It just, oh, it makes my whole body cringe. Okay. So, um, I think it's like the same kind of interior packaging as last month's. I don't think that changes. I am so stuffy. I apologize. Uh, let's see. Again, I'm not going to read the inside of this until we are done going through the box just because this does list everything that comes inside so I don't want to like spoil the surprise. I ended up sticking with the mini crate. It worked for us last time. I found out that you get the same number of snacks in no matter what crate size that you get. You just get like a larger size so I figured the mini crate is perfect because I didn't want to waste too much. All right. So, I see another bag of chips, which is terrifying. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to pull out the chips first. I guess we'll always start with the chips. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is. kind of looks like... What? This kind of looks like a, a, like a weird pumpkin. I don't know why. Maybe because it's almost October and I'm like super excited. Um, but I guess I'm going to go and read the description and kind of just like avoid the other things. So the chips is the first thing on the list and these are called uni po potato chips. Potato chips. Japan loves this. Oh. <laughs> 
Japan loves sea urchin. It is actually the largest consumer of sea urchin or uni. It's known for being a <laughs> I am so scared. I don't want to do this one either. It is known for being a delicacy with a strong flavor. Ugh, I don't think I'm gonna be I don't I I'm not gonna try it. <laughs> um, my husband is currently downstairs. His back hurts, so I don't think I'm gonna ask him to do it this time. Um, maybe next time. The thing is, these look like potato chips. Like they don't look like anything special. Oh, I can't even. Ugh, I'm sorry. I got scared of it. I can't even really smell anything. It just it smells like a potato chip to me. But I, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Japan Crate, stop sending me your chips. I don't want your chips. What I want is the little candy. So we're going to move on. So the next thing looks like... Oh, hello. Am I missing something? Okay. I'm missing a snack. Am I sitting on it? <laughs> I'm not sitting on it. Oh my gosh. I got, oh, oh, <laughs> I thought it was gypped a snack. It is so tiny. Okay, so this has little Pikachu on the front. I'm sorry, I'm farther away today than I normally am for my camera. Why am I so gassy? My son is doing that to me. That is crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to get used to saying that I have a son in here. And my little baby boy, my princess is downstairs, but she's still super upset about having a brother. Anyways, this is the Pokemon Apple Gum. Pikachu is here for you, even when you need a shock of juicy green apple flavor. I loved, I love anything apple flavor. I, I'll say mostly anything. Like, I'm not a fan of, like, apple crisp, but apple candies, bomb. Two pieces of tasty apple gum all wrapped up with our favorite yellow buddy on it. I'm excited that I got two pieces because I want to try it, but I have other things to try too, so. Oh, this is odd. It says two pieces, but it's all like wrapped in one thing, so maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll never know until we open it. Okay, it's like wrapped, but then wrapped again. <laughs> so we're going to try... The part that's like exposed. Has such a soft texture. Has that little bit of um, tang that you might expect from like maybe a sour apple candy. It reminds me a lot of the apple jolly ranchers we have here in the states like it's almost so soft that i feel like i could chew it and then eat it like like a really soft candy obviously it's gum so i'm not gonna do that but honestly it's really yummy i just want to chew it for a minute to see if it loses its flavor super fast or if it kind of lingers for a little while it doesn't help that i can't breathe through my nose so i'm like <sighs> okay been just a couple minutes and it's starting to get kind of like that rubbery texture so I don't think it's like a super long lasting flavored candy but it is really really yummy um and I am, honestly am looking forward to having that other other piece later on so pretty good we'll throw that away it has no it's like white by the way like there's no it's almost like transparent white I need to stop touching it <laughs> anyways let's move on what is our next candy it looks like it's gonna be this which looks like some sort of um bear, like a maybe a gummy bear these are called kojuma or koguma kojuma sounds better um gummy these gummy bears are neither too hard nor too soft they're just right chew on these yummy gummy bear shaped in an assortment of flavors and cover colors okay so it's their version of a gummy bear and i love gummy bears they are 
Honestly, they look just like American gum gummy bears. We're gonna try the green. Okay, I swear these are like regular gummy bears. <laughs> it tastes just like what you would expect a gummy bear to taste like. Trying a yellow too. So the different colors definitely have different flavors like you would expect a gummy bear to have. Um, they're good, they're just not like something exotic to me. <laughs> you know, I've had these, I know I love them, so that is a good one. So, so far at the three, I mean, I, I again, I'm not trying these chips, but I really do like the um, gum and the gummy bear so far. And this next one almost looks like a... Mm. What are they called? They're like different brands. Some look like, I think they're called Yodels or they're Swiss Rolls, but typically the ones that I eat are chocolate. This one almost looks like a vanilla and maybe like a strawberry kind of thing. I don't know. There's packaging. This says it's a roll cake buttercream. Roll cake is a popular dessert in Japan. It's fluffy roll cake is filled with fragrant and sweet buttercream. Like buttercream, like on a cake, you know what I mean? And <laughs> that, like, you frost a cake with. I don't know. We're gonna try it. <clears throat> kind of have high hopes for this one, but we will see, I guess. Whoops! Can't get that one open. Oh, it's small, and it's squished. <laughs> I love the advertisement versus the reality. It's a sad little squished. Uh, ow. It's a sad little squished roll cake buttercream. So let's give it a try. Oh, from what I can smell, it smells so good. Um, it's okay. It's kind of like <clears throat> Twinkie meets a Swiss roll. I'm okay with it. It's a little dry for me, um, but it's a sweet little snack. I don't know if this is like the typical size that you would find in Japan because this is like I could probably eat or somebody could probably eat like 20 of these <laughs> but um for me I don't know a couple bites kind of did it I think I definitely would prefer it if it was like a chocolate chocolate flavored and then the buttercream I think that would be really delicious that's just like a personal preference of mine but that was still pretty good and then our last one which honestly kind of caught my interest right away it has like a little um, penguin and a little igloo on it and then I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna open it up but it almost looks like ice cube candy and then it comes with like a toothpick and it looks like it's in a little petri dish this is the cool cider oh god oh no if you know okay if you know what vlog I'm referencing give this video a thumbs up because you deserve that but I am um, this is the cool cider Maki, Moki, Maki, still don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I, <laughs> I tried like the ice cream, like an Maki, Maki, whatever it's pronounced, ice cream. <laughs> Sorry, the devil's trying to come out. Um, and it was the oddest texture I could have, I can't even explain, like just thinking about it, <laughs> thinking about the way it tasted, it was like, literally putting a, a piece of floured dough in my mouth and then eating a scoop of ice cream right after. Like it was just the weirdest experience I've ever had. So that word throws me off a little bit. But like I said, it comes in like this tiny little dish and then it comes with like a little toothpick which I'm assuming you grab these with to eat. I don't know. Oh, it tells me. Use the stick to pick up these bite-sized soda flavored moki, maki. Each piece is a cool blue flavor and color. At least, mm -hmm. I don't mind the texture. I think it's kind of fun. You know what I mean? Like if you gave this to a kid and was like, here's some candy kid. <laughs> not, not in a weird way, but like if I went to my daughter and I was like, here, like, you know, it's kind of like a little fun way to eat your candy, but the, the flavor, again, it, it's sweet. It leaves, like, a nice aftertaste. But the, the, the candy itself, 
I don't think it's all that great. I don't think, um, I think we had flavor, soda flavored candy in our last jet, jet. Let's try that again. I think we had soda flavored candy in my last Japan crate as well. And I wasn't like super into it. Um, it's good, yes, but I don't know. I like prefer the texture and like the 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 fun of the candy over the actual flavor itself. I might see if my daughter actually wants to try these. She probably isn't gonna like them too much because she has like a super sweet tooth, so these might not be like sweet enough for her, but. I don't know, the idea is really cute, the packaging is really cute, so we'll let that one slide. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for September's Japan Crate. I still am really enjoying this. I, I've, I feel like every time I record an unboxing like this, I'm like, should I keep this one or should I try another subscription box? I don't know. There, I, I'm one of those people that I have like so many interests in life that it's hard to pinpoint like one specific thing to focus on. Um, I really do like the idea of trying like different foods and stuff instead of like just like beauty products. But I don't know, I also really love like accessory, not really like, not really jewelry subscription, but like, I don't know, a quick example, I watch this girl I don't remember, oh my gosh, I'll have to link her down below because I've been watching her for years and like, she's so gothic and like, <laughs> so the opposite style of me, but like she seems so, so sweet and she unboxes what's called Spooky Box Club. Like it's kind of like witchy things and like gothic things and like black things and spooky things and I don't know, every time I watch it, I'm like, those are so cute or like, I don't know, sometimes she'll get like little cups or little buttons or little earrings and stuff like that. So I'm kind of considering maybe starting um, or doing a little bit of research after this video on a new subscription box, but we will see. I know at least we're going to get one for October because my subscription renewed already. <laughs> but, um, you know, in the, in the future we might be seeing other subscription boxes because I'm not opposed to like playing around and trying different subscription boxes. I think that would be a lot of fun as well. Anyways guys, I am done ranting. I'm gonna try to get this video out so I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you again so much for watching this month's Japan Crate. Let me know what you think on my community tab or you can find me on my Instagram or my Facebook and leave your comment there unless YouTube decides to be nice to me in this video and not disable my comments I would be really appreciated anyways you guys if you enjoyed the video please go ahead leave a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any new videos while you're down there hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one bye